there you go because you don't want that shadow getting cut because it just looks stupid <laughs> I'm actually talking to you on a new camera, and it's really cool, because it's a 360 camera, yeah? Um, although I don't really want to do a 360 in my room, because then you'll see just how messy my room really is. Now, I'm doing a tutorial, uh, which you're going to see in, in just a sec, where we're going to take some really simple lettering, and we're going to transform it into something really magical, using your own graphics. It's going to really make your, your fonts look really poppy. And we're doing it in Infinity. I'm doing it on the desktop, but obviously you can do the same thing on your um, iPad. Um, I just find it quicker and easier to do it on the desktop. But the principle is the same as doing it on the iPad. But I think you're going to like it. It's going to really make your lettering pop. You can use it in your Instagrams, um, logos, any anywhere you like. And it's using your own graphics. That's what I love about it, because it's giving your your mandalas or your drawings um, life and, and a purpose and you know you could even make really cool um, Instagram pictures with using this this technique and I think you're gonna like it so we've got that coming up right now in fact hey let's do this we're gonna do something really cool and I'm quite excited because it's really cool now I'm over at the text tool there artistic tool we're not gonna use that one we are on artistic tool and I'm going to write something like, I don't know, let's write, uh, let's, oh no, let's just put doodle. Doodle. Okay, now, if I hover over the line, I can move it to the center, bring it in a bit, Oop, there you go. And I want to change the font, I'm just going to double click it, so it selects. I am moving fast, but you can always watch it again. Now, I bolded it. I'm on Arial because it's nice and chunky. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click the character. Why am I doing that, you're asking? We're going to change it. See that one there? We're going to squish it up. So we're going to go there and I want it minus 50 because that seems to be the only way it goes up to there. But I want it. I want them touching. So I'm going to click oh, that one. I'm going to start increasing it. So 50, minus 58. We're going for it. We're going to have them touching big time. Even if they overlap, I don't care. There you go. The E's joined. The O's are joined. And now, oh, just the L to come in. There you go. Now we've joined them. We can come up here to the select tool. Or you can press V. See, I cheated then. I hovered it. <laughs> anyway, so let's make this bigger. Nice and chunky. There you go. Because, you know, so the bigger the better. Because we can always import it into places then. Now, it looks pretty crap at the moment but bear with me switching back to layers over here you see there uh, place image tool click that I did find an image earlier when I was looking at this because my there you go I'm gonna click this colorful one here I'm gonna open now if you click and drag there you go you see that that way it doesn't come in full size and we have to muck about size in it now I'm just gonna stretch this out so it covers this image roughly and what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to drag the image. Now watch the blue, the, the blue line. You see that it's gone inside. Voila! Huh? Cool. We haven't finished yet. So let's um make it a little bit more poppy. Now this is a really cool way of using your drawn images that you've done in Procreate to create really cool words you can use them on Instagram and all, so, all sorts of stuff I think it's really fun anyway so we've done that so now let's sort of pop that arrow up so we can just deal with the whole thing see how I selected it there now let's go to effects and let's add some a little bit of punch to it so let's add an outer shadow maybe and let's increase the radius so we can actually see it there you go so now I'm just treating it like normal text Give it a little bit of an offset. There you go. And I want, I don't want it so transparent. I want it really stand punchy. So I'm taking that occupancy right up. And we can take the offset a little bit more maybe. There you go. That looks really punchy now. And the reason I want it punchy 
is because when you're putting it on top of another image, I want it to really stand out away from the image. And there you go. We've just created a doodle. Literally. Yeah. Now I think that's really cool. How long did that take? Not long at all. Now, we could now crop this image down because when you're importing this image into other applications, you don't really want all this wasted white space around, although it's transparent. So let's have a look at how big our image is. Over here, the height of the image is 138.6. So we could do 150. So if I click outside of the canvas there, I'll get the option to do document set up. Now, I think we agreed on 150. So let me just see if I can, if that's right. Am I okay that? Voila. That's just the quickest way of doing it for me. So I'm going to just make sure it's centered because the worst thing, worst scenario is that this shading gets cut and it will leave a really horrible, in fact it is little, it is cutting a bit there so I did go a bit OTT. So let me just shrink that down just a little bit and then move it back to the center. Uh, maybe just a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I did go over the top a little bit. There you go. Because you don't want that shadow getting cut because it'll just look stupid. You'll have, a, you'll have a harsh line going across. And there you go. Now, I can use this image. I can save it, obviously, and, and then export it as a PNG. And that's a really cool lettering, don't you think? And that drawing in the background, I made. Huh? So that would be your drawing in the background. How cool is that? It just looks really, really different. So you, that's a good way of, you know... Especially like me, I'm not very good at hand drawing lettering. But this is a cool way of turning, you know, this is aerial into a really cool textured font. Yeah, I quite like that. So I could use that in a logo. I could use that, you know, anywhere really, couldn't I? And of course, you could, don't have to stick with that font. You could just change the font. I mean... I've already, I've already got it all set up. So as you can see, look at that, as I'm, I'm going through, I might have to squish it up more so it joins. I mean, you don't have to have them joining. I just thought it looked cool having them joining, you know, look at that. See how you can change that up? Isn't that cool? Oh, that's a good one. Wow, yes sir, you see? That's really good. That's a nice one. Bradley Hand. Yeah, but obviously the, the, the more, chunky the font the more of your image you're going to see so that's that's really why i picked the aerial and you could even use the aerial um black there because i think that's that that's even more chunky you can see it's gone gone off the picture there um but let's put it back to aerial because that's what i started off with and there you go i hope you enjoyed that um i'm not sure if i'm doing a um Attaching this video to another one, but if I haven't, if I haven't touched another video to this tutorial, <laughs> remember to subscribe and be good out there. Talk again in a minute. Okay, I hope you found that tutorial really helpful and a lot of fun. And as you can see, it really didn't take me long at all to make that um, graphic at all. So it's something that's really quick and can, you could add to your workflow quite easily. Now. Um, It'd be great to see what you've done. If you could post up your what you've done, you know your writing, maybe in in the, in the um, Facebook group. And if you haven't joined the Facebook group, do so. I know it's a closed group, but just just press the join, and you know we'll get you added. I'm a bit slow, but we'll get you added. And, you know you can start getting involved in the community, which is really good. And um, the YouTube channel um, is we're still down there in the in the low hundreds i'd love to get that up to a thousand that's going to be a milestone at the moment i'm going to do a lot more of these 360 videos uh which i think would be really fun and sort of be it make it a bit more personal between obviously me and you and um you could see what i'm getting up to so anyway i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you liked it please press that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already yeah anyway I hope you have fun with that and I'll, I'll talk again soon. Take care.